feel right. What is it? Something's wrong. We're elected, but what makes us special? My mom says I'm special. Hey, yeah. Well, we aren't superheroes, and the world isn't ending. Again. What makes us different from the other courts? We need something cool. Something to give us a fully rounded American high school experience. But what embodies the true, unexaggerated spirit of real high school? Television! So let me get this straight. You want to make a sitcom for Homecoming Court? Yeah! Okay, if you're sure about this, you're going to need writers, a crew, editors. Oh yeah, and this. Uh, that's a laugh track. Just adjust the volume so you can actually hear the dialogue. Oh, oh, can I be the star of the show? I wanted to be the star. Yeah. 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 Why don't you split up and make more than one? Yeah, fist bump. Yo, Ray, you okay? Yeah, I think so. And the winner of this year's Homecoming King is... Yo, is there something to miss? I just had a vision. Did it involve me and Halle Berry? Uh, no, I see things that are actually going to happen. You know, like that one hardly believable show where people are obviously overacting. You mean Raven? No, Long Island Medium. <laughs> I swear I could see into the future. They were about to announce Homecoming Game. Well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> and the winner of this year's Homecoming King is... Adam Isom! That wasn't a vision, that was a flashback sequence, ya nasty! Penny? 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 What is it today, Sheldon? I have a dilemma. My seat has been tampered with. Your seat as in the couch in your apartment? No. <sighs> the density of this cushion is not to the typical fluffiness of my couch cushion, which, by the way, makes it the optimal spot for my comfort. Sheldon, what are you talking about? I cannot have such disturbances present in a time when my reign is filled with such uncertainties. Reign? Uncertainties? Ugh, Sheldon. If you're talking about homecoming, then don't worry. Whether you win or not, it doesn't matter. Uh, of course I'll win. What do you think I was talking about? I can't risk the success of my sovereignty due to the inadequacies of my homecoming throne. Which, by the way, is why I must know who is responsible for this negligence. Sheldon, I didn't want to break this to you so bluntly, but, uh... What? I mean, maybe you shouldn't worry about homecoming so much. Royalty is usually awarded to those who, uh, you know, aren't so crazy. <laughs> Bazinga. Hiya, my name is Miley. I'm just a typical girl from Tennessee. I like hanging out with my friends, playing guitar, and just being me. But what most people don't realize is I live a double life. 
You're a pop singer that serves as a good role model for young girls? Ah, uh, heck no. Hiya, my name is, well, heck, y'all know who I am. That there's my daddy. I'm his pride and joy. Oh, come on. What she's wearing isn't that bad, is it? You see what I mean, Miles? Your reputation's getting out of here. You ain't gonna do none of that twerk nonsense down the VMAs now, huh? Dad, that's so unfair. Just because I used to be a role model for young girls doesn't mean I can't make a complete fool of myself now. Sweet pork and nibbles. Oh, come on, Miles. You're breaking my achy, breaky heart. Go! Hi, my name's Donna and I'm a beauty queen! <laughs> We decided to do a reality show instead of, instead of a sitcom because it pays more and I gotta support my honey. Plus, we're ineligible for government support because honey started eating it all. <laughs> oh, come on, honey. You don't eat the food stamps. Don't tell me what to do. I eat what I want because I can't fast it. Oh, honey. <laughs> Come on out, honey. We'll fetch you a nice old stick of butter. Mama! Mama! What? I want my go-go juice! Oh, what are you two scoundrels doing? Get out of here! But we like it here, Mr. Jones. Yeah, golly, you're our favorite principal. Zach, Cody, how am I supposed to run a high school with all your town foolery? How'd you guys get in here anyway? Well, we were in chamber choir earlier. Miss Morton got mad at us for not turning in our practice slips, so we climbed into the air vents to escape her wrath. So that's how we ended up here. Duh-oh, is she right behind us? <laughs> Zack and Cody, you are out of chamber choir forever. Does that mean we don't get to wear our tuxes? I will make every day of the rest of your life miserable until the I day came you in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the Bird's Nest. This has been our secret headquarters while managing to survive high school. It's a very humbling place. We create everything here. Bird calls, duck calls, bobbleheads. I could go for some crawfish right now. Got any? Of course not. Why don't you live by my motto and put a bird call in it? <laughs> or you can help me create our next big seller. You interested? Depends. Okay, here it is. No, I'm putting my foot down. Why? First, our bobbleheads haven't even sold. Then you decide to plaster our faces on notebooks, band-aids, pencil bags, and backpacks. And even freshmen. Now you want to glue your face to a water bottle? And second, why is it a younger picture of you? Our water bottles have sold. Somewhat. And good question. It's depicting more youthful me from my homecoming nomination bliss. This is important. How? They drink from this water bottle. They become more beautiful. I mean... Look at me. Who doesn't want some of this? You're right. It is a good look. Oh yeah. Let's get working. Me work? <laughs> Hi everyone. I'm Carly and this is I Carly. I'm Freddy. Oh Freddy, go over there and work the camera. Uh-oh. Looks like it's time for some zany antics. Red can we not? Can we not? Can we just... no? Oh, Freddy, you're such a mama's boy. What a loser. You're so worthless. You know what? No. I'm done. What? What are you doing? This is not the show. Cut! This is not the show I wanted to do. Random things aren't funny. Especially out of context. They just aren't. If you want to make nonsense funny, you have to build some situational humor around it. 
Okay, then what show do you want to do? I don't know. Something that's actually funny but has some social commentary to it. Alright, that's more like it. That's it. I'm done. So, does this mean we're on a break? Now this is a story all about how our lives got flipped, turned upside down. I'd like to take a minute, just sit and wait. I'll tell you how I'll become the homecoming king of free state. Born and raised in detention is where we spend most of our days. Chilling out, maxing and acting all cool when our attitude caught the eye of the school. When one of our friends who thought he was last said, Wouldn't it be funny if we elected that guy? Got a few little votes and Miss Boy got short. You've been nominated to Free State's Homecoming Court. To the cow, yo, homie, nice skater. Looked at our kingdom, which had gross plumbing. Do sit on my throne as the queen of homecoming. Uh, we called you back in here to break some bad news. Uh, because of budget cuts, we kind of have to cancel a few of your shows. What? Didn't people love our acting? Well, it turns out that we have more restrictions than the cable networks, and we're getting killed by premium channels. Plus, our teenage audience was zoned out because it's Thursday, and they were mad about having their late arrival. So here's the deal. We're going to have to cancel seven of your shows. Seven? Yeah, funny how that worked out. So, only two of us can be stars? Why does this always happen? So, viewers, who do you want to be the star of Free State? Thank you.